2022 Bullet Train. It's a movie that's only just been released, so no animated gifts or that sort of shit or memes. Um, the first four minutes, there is no English. It is just Japanese. There are also no subtitles, because I didn't doubt no subtitles. Um, so, somebody in hospital, somebody's a father, somebody's in hospital. That's all I know. It's all in Japanese. Um, Brad Pitt, I assume. I mean, let's face it, the guy's, what, 50, 60? I'm hoping it's not too much action, unless he's got a really good stunt double. Uh, but it's Japanese setting, so I'm expecting 30-year-old American Japanese girls dressed up like schoolgirls, which does seem to be pretty much standard. Because after all, if you're in Japan, all women dress up like schoolgirls, apparently. Just to clarify my last statement, According to American media, all Japanese women dress up like Catholic schoolgirls, just like Scottish men in Scotland, or wear Catholic schoolgirl miniskirts. The, um, the soundtrack is a bit dodgy, and it's not my copy. My copy's sweet. It's they, they put this um, forever blow and bubbles in the background, but whoever's singing it, he's like, not nice, not good, not not fitting, not even satirical fitting. And I'm starting to talk cockney, fuck it. All like, <coughs> really, you know, the movie's not too bad at the moment, so it's, it's quite good. I'm only about 13 minutes in, but it's a lot more interesting than some. <coughs> sorry, that words like my fucking throat. Um, so far it's okay. There is a bit of a story to it. It's nothing original. You know, Hitman had been sent to rescue some rich person's son who's a bit of a fuck up and there's going to be competition to get him. That's not exactly an original story, but it, yeah, it's all right. Thankfully, Brad Pitt isn't in it very much. I like Brad Pitt. I like his stuff that he does. He has done some very off pieced work in the past um people only, only know his stuff from his bimbo type acting that's all they really that's all they re ever remember when they think of brad pitt they don't see remember he is a, he can actually act he is actually quite good at doing the action stuff and he does have a bit of range like uh is it seven what's in the box he had a bit of range in that there was one where he played a completely deadpan was it an angel or the devil? Oh, he's like a man in black sort of thing, possesses some guy and very deadpan acting. Um, he's done quite a few things. Things like, um, oh, what the fuck was it? Interview with a Vampire, another deadpan. He did a lot of very, very limited acting ability style people. And then he'd do the complete opposite, like in 12, 12 Monkeys. Yeah, he was in 12 Monkeys, playing a freaking nut job. But, yeah, it's, the movie's okay. The way it's done is pretty good. It's just a shame that the backing track is shit. It probably wouldn't be as shit if I hadn't just binge-watched the entire series of Peacemaker, which has got an awesome fucking backing track. It's basically... Lock, stock, and two smoking snatches in Japan. And of course, I could be a book patch in it. Has it been so far? But then, black guy, only black guy in the movie so far. I don't know who you are. You just like it's just. You look just the same as any other white homeless guy. He has to bring race into it. You can't just say homeless guy. It's got to be, you know, white homeless. I hate the racial shit like that. There's no fucking reason for it. Aside from the 
fucking black guy doing a racist anti-white shit. It's a good movie. Which is a bad thing because I had food on the stove, which I got distracted by watching the movie for half an hour and it nearly burnt the house down. So I got a sauce pan outside smouldering and the ass is completely melted out of it. But movie's okay. But he has made at least two a black guy. Oh no, I just get captivated by white girl tears. What, and black girls don't cry? Racist fucking cunt. I'm going to keep the movie because it's a good movie. The only like work shit in it is the um, black guy's racist comments against white people. But So it's actually not a good, good movie, except I may have to re-download the fucking subtitles because the main story points are in Japa fucking easy or Rusky Rania, which I don't speak that for the movie. So we don't know why the fuck she's trying to get back at the white death, who I thought was the person poisoning people. Because it's in fucking Japanese and Australia, so I don't fucking know what they're talking about. Plus, her accent is diabolical. I mean, she's trying to do this English accent throughout the entire thing, and it's what the Americans believe English people, British people sound like. Oh dear fucking Christ, go back to Australia. She's an American, she's doing a good job of a British accent, of a 1940s schoolgirl going to private school whose parents are rosy not of your average english girl there's all talks more like this depending what area they're from but movies are right i mean her i don't know who the fuck she is um joey king i only know that because i googled her and apparently she's fit as fuck but she's famous for doing a tv series and a couple of movies about jabbit snogging or something i don't know I don't fucking know who she is. Really pretty face. Nice figure. But good. she is a good actress. But that accent is just dodgy as fuck. It is a good movie. And um, I think it's a kind of a fuck you to the woke. Because the only woke shit in there is the black guy. He, he made several anti-white comments. And the last thing you see is him murdering the white schoolgirl. But other than that, it's a good movie. Not completely predictable. Okay, it is. The main storyline was predictable. Bad guys get killed, good guys win, la 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 la. But, you know, good movie. They did miss one little trick though, because what they could have done is had one of the bad guys escape and you think you can get away with it, and then, or actually one of the good guys, just for a change, like fucking, what's her name, Miss Congeniality, who wears so much makeup, dear Christ, it's got to be a good half inch thick, you're old, accept it, for fuck's sake, or get surgery. But putting on that much makeup, you need a fucking drill hammer to get through it. Anyhow, someone like her or somebody else could have gone to the toilet, die for a piss. I'm going to go, I sit on the toilet. That still had the snake inside. Mwahahahaha. <laughs>